Okay. Hopefully the uh, in-game audio isn't too loud. Um, I'd like it to be there more than not be there, just because it's kind of weird just like having it empty background. But again, yeah, I'll try to do this all in one take. I don't, don't want to edit any of this. Uh, so as you can see, this is an Epic 7. This is Fire Emblem. This is the second uh, game that I focus on. Um, pretty decent standing, I think. Uh, I just want to go here really quickly. Uh, let's go see. Account uh, frequently asked questions, customer support, orbs. Uh, as you can see here, 444, 444 bonus. That means I haven't bought any of these orbs. Um, not necessarily free to play. I do have the the Fey Pass here. Uh, so five of those came from here, and you know, just general advantages you get from having the Fey Pass. Um, but yeah, like. I don't like buying orbs is, is the biggest problem. But anyway, the point of this video is I'm summoning for uh, Mirabilis, however you say it, Mirabilis. Um, 40 summons is cool, we get 9 tickets so that's awesome. Um, I want to hopefully get a plus 1 on her, but uh, just getting 1 period is, is good enough so. Okay, right, yeah, we'll just get into it. Uh, you want to do the whole circle just because that way it makes the you get to the 40 faster and again like I said like a plus one like you could snipe and probably get a plus one but that's all right I don't really care too much um, I just want to get at least one and she's not really gonna benefit too much from having a plus one it's just uh, it's a good practice to do the plus you're either gonna go plus one or plus ten on every unit you get um, Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, cool. He's four star. I thought it was five star. Oh, uh, there you go. Mustafa. Oh, I forgot to clean up my barracks after this. So I might have to go do that. Oh, this video's gonna have some editing in it then. I'm gonna have to cut all that stuff out. Yep, okay, I'm gonna just stop. Okay, uh, we should be back now. Um, I think I, I cleared enough just to get to the, the 40, so I probably won't have to do that again after this. I really should've done that before I started, but whatever. Alright, here goes another one. I don't really have... There's Perry. I don't really want to go for anyone else on this banner. Um, it's just her, really. The new Anna is, I mean, it's fine. I couldn't care less. Um, the other, the, the red she's sharing with kind of irritates me that she's sharing with her because I don't want that one either. Uh, and then obviously there's, um, we just got Mustafa. and Fortunately, he's four star. Oh, look, there you go. Like I said, I, I didn't want her particularly, but uh, I mean, I, I don't mind pulling one either. Uh, let's complete this. Um, it'd be funny if this is Mirabilis here. Nope. I think it's Mirabilis. There we go. What do we get? Plus attack? That's not bad. Um, let's see. Chili win. She has, where is it? Kestrel stance 3. Probably follow that off to somebody. Uh, people tell me close call is good, so probably both of them. So these three, close call one, two, and three, and maybe find Kestrel Stance too if I find it somewhere. Um, I don't, I'm not sure who has that, but yeah, you can fire those two skills off three and and three. This one right here is very good. Probably run this on, yeah, I don't know. Someone with this encounter weapon would be really good. But there, there's that. Let's try it again. Oh wow, no reds here. Colorless, I do need I need a lot of colorless. I really hope I pull a lot of colorless orbs in the process of doing this because I need Norns, I have a plus six Norn, I need Tethuses, I have a plus seven Tethys. Um you can get off banner units. The only off banner colorless unit I want is probably gonna be like Summer Xander or um Who's the other one? Uh, Takumi, one of the Takumis, there's like 30 of them, so I don't know. 
Uh, one of the Takumi's, the one that has close counter. Basically, I just need, need close counter from this. Um, from when pulling off banner, colorless. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, that's right. I needed uh, one more Felicia, and I'll have a plus ten Felicia. So, um, that's basically it. Uh, in terms of other color stuff, I don't really know. I don't need any more reds. Yeah, most of my projects are like Grail units. Like I just kind of focus on Grail stuff, just because they're the most profitable. It's like. Working on Cronia. Oh, look, there's a Nino. I kind of needed one of her. Well, I didn't really. Obviously, you never need any of these units. I just wanted a Nino just because she looks pretty fun and I use a lot of flyer teams, so it's like. There you go. And here's a Mustafa. Now, I, didn't, I never realized how. how tedious it was to be summoning on this game. Um, but yeah. Let's see. Yep, nothing. Okay. Uh, so Nino, very cool. Plus defense. I think I have, I have this Nino, this Giga Excalibur Nino. I don't remember what her, I don't remember what her uh, IVs are though. Ooh, wow. Come on. I just want to get the plus one. Hey, look, there's Roy. I hear Roy is getting a Resplendent next, which is pretty cool because I have a plus ten Roy. He's the first plus 10 unit I did. Um, at the time and a little bit after, it's not really worth it. I mean, if like the game just came out and he was available to plus 10, I mean, it might have been worth it then, but um, by the time I plus 10 him, he was basically worthless. Um, but I just did it anyway because uh, I'm a Roy main and basically every Smash game he's in. Up, oh, Cordy. I like Cordy. Uh, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I just took the I took the L on that one, invested a bunch into a, a unit that's not very useful. Uh, he's alright, the only mode he's good in is Arena, just because in Arena, there's a lot of dragons, and he's, you know, got dragon effectiveness, and he's, he's decently hard to kill. Mine's, like, over-invested, I'm talking, like, he has Distant Counter, Special Spiral, I mean, that's basically it. Alright, cool, another Tethys, I need her. Um... Yeah, he's like way over invested. It's just that at the time I wasn't very competitive and I was just like, ah, oh, you know, I like Roy, Roy's my favorite, so I just threw a bunch of shit into him. He's got Aether, he's got Aether, Special Spiral, um, well, basically everything. Disencounter, you know, whatever you could have on him. Uh, the Respellent Ult won't make him like a great choice, but I mean, I take him into Arena already as it is just because I don't really have very many other like Arena units. <laughs> I don't focus on Arena too much, I, I focus on Aether Raids, and as long as I'm T21 there, I'm not too concerned about what tier I get in... No, not tier 21, um, as long as I'm tier 27 in Aether Raids, I'm fine, I don't really care what position I'm in in uh, regular Arena, it's not very not very useful to me. Uh, there's Clarine. Hopefully that incessant clicking isn't irritating anybody too much. <laughs> I just have a feeling, like, it just feels like it, it'll do something, but, you know, obviously it's not. Come on, Mira. Nope. I've been thinking about using a plus 10 pala. I've been looking at some theory crafting. Um, one of the biggest problems my AR defense has, and I'll do probably, I mean, I said this during the Epic 7 one, but uh, this time for real, I'll probably do a uh, account overview for both this and Epic 7 uh, soon. Um... But here I run a flyer ball for Aether Raid's defense. Uh, the, really the biggest the biggest issue you run into running that is um, not necessarily like like Leaf is obviously a problem. Um, who else? Leaf is a problem. Uh, what's his name? Just, well, I know basically any colors unit, uh, bow unit, is really just going to be a huge pain in the ass. Um, young Pala kind of went some way, some ways towards uh, helping that, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, they're not yet. Well, young Pala and uh, young young Sheeta. Uh, I have two tickets left. I don't know. Let's see. I don't really care. Save the orb. So I have two tickets. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna use these two tickets and get the last summons. I mean, this was supposed to be trying to be optimal here. Um, I'm gonna pull that other red orb just in case. Let's pull this one. I'll have a ticket left over, which, you know, it's fine. Oh, are you serious? I can't believe this. I got pity broken. Wow, I didn't get any... I didn't get any Mirabilis before the pity happened. That sucks. Uh, let's see. Defense. I don't know. I don't. I have no idea who this is. I don't keep up. Uh, keep up with all the uh, units. And she's got chill attack. Attack defense form could be useful on somebody. Actually, this would be pretty good on. Um, yeah, this would be pretty good on on maybe like a uh, Est. Attack defense form could get seven. I have usually you're in death blow or uh, attack defense bond. But uh, this will be pretty good since most of them they just kind of ball up. Yeah, it's a flyer ball, obviously. They all kind of ball up together. So getting a plus seven wouldn't be too bad. Uh, it also makes it a little easier. You don't have to be like adjacent. So yeah, I might, I might follow that off to her. Guard sword, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Okay, yeah, that was not very worth it. Um, stop. Mirabilis is obviously going to be very powerful uh, for defense. Let's see, I already have this one, so I'll make sure I take this one. Okay. Yep, same. She's gonna be very powerful on defense. I guess I'm getting a neutral IV. Uh, this stuff right here is basically always gonna hit people, which means that this is always gonna hit people. Uh, this just makes her tanky. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave this on her. I'm probably gonna take this off. Um, and put like a ward or a goat or something. And then in the seal, maybe give her flyer formation just to make sure she's she sticks with uh, everybody close. Um, the person who's holding my flyer formation right now is Mikaya, which kind of sucks. But I don't know, I have to I have to see about that. But yeah, like she's gonna basically be uber useful. Part of the reason you want a plus one, uh, you want you know any merges on her just because like she'll reduce how much lift you lose. Look there she is, yay! Um, I'll think about this. I'll have to see. Animal Blessing. I'll have to see. Uh, we have 24 days, so there's plenty of time. Um, using up these free tickets. I guess I'll just use this last one. Uh, the question I'm, I'm wondering is, should I spend more orbs on this to try to get the plus one? Just because, like I said, uh, reducing lift loss as well as just like, you kind of want to go plus one on like most of your good units because... Um, because they get the most stats out of that, so like if they have any boons or banes, if they have any banes, it'll remove the banes. So that's like a plus three off the bat to like that stat, and then just kind of redistributing stats. Um, but yeah, you you get the most benefit off a of plus one, plus one to plus two. It's not as not as much. So you're either gonna if for good units you want to hold on to, you either want to have a plus one or a plus ten. There really isn't a middle ground you want to keep them at. Um, Certain that kind of goes a little different for like certain GHB units. You kind of want to have them like Sometimes I don't know if they always come back, but like Aversa came back twice So you kind of you know, it's okay to keep her at a plus eight because you're waiting for her to come back and then you know Be efficient with your uh, grails because grails don't come so easily um, But yeah, I mean that's that's that um, You know, that's it for now. Like I said, I'll do an account overview um, Talk about everything that I have and, and where I'm at and where it is, where this, where I feel the game is and whatnot. I've been playing this game since, basically since launch, since almost year one. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's it.